This is a movie I missed in theaters. I was going to go and see it in theaters, but one, I don't drive, and two, my buddy just didn't want to go and see it. Uh, he, he, he didn't think it looked that well, or looked that good, and I thought that this looked really, really good, but I was not expecting all the rave reviews for it. Well, then the reviews came out for it, and people said, this is a shitload of fun. You're going to have fun with this movie. You are going to be surprised with how some of the deaths go, and they were not wrong. This film is all about Samara Weaving's character, who's getting married into this very rich family. And basically, on their wedding night, at midnight, when you get married into this family, or there's like a new family member coming into the family, of course, you gotta play this game. You can either play chess or checkers, any kind of game. And she picks out the card that says on it, hide and seek. Well, what hide and seek is, is that she hides and everybody in the family has to try and kill her before dawn, pretty much. Before dawn, and if they don't, then uh, all of them will die. This is fun. Because she actually is running and hiding for a little bit. But she actually starts to fight back in the film. And it is a lot of fun when she starts fighting back. There's some accidental deaths in the film that I was not expecting. And this has a strong blend. A great blend of horror and comedy. This might be the second best horror comedy of the year to me. We haven't had a lot of them. I know that. But I would call this a horror comedy. It had a lot of funny moments, and just a lot of really good uh, gore, and a lot of good uh, blood effects. Nothing too tremendous in the film, but it was just trying to be a very fun film, and that's what it did. This is one I would probably pick up when it's like $5. If I saw it for $5 on Blu-ray or DVD, I'd probably buy myself a copy of this. It, it's not a $20 purchase, but I will say it's a fun film. Samara Weaving is one of those actresses that you either like her or you hate her. Uh, her first major, major role where everyone's like, whoa, look at that girl, was of course The Babysitter from Netflix. I liked The Babysitter quite a bit. In the trailer, it looked like she was just there to be a hot girl. And yeah, she is really attractive, but in this film, she's a lot more than that. She's proved that she can act now. She can do uh, horror, she can do comedy, and she has great comedic timing with her, too. There's the last line in the movie uh, is really, really good, and you know how this movie is going to end. If you don't know how this film is going to end, you haven't seen any movie ever. It's a cliched horror comedy. But you know exactly what's going to happen, and that's okay, because you're cheering for it to happen. You don't want her to die. You want her to live. Maybe if this made enough money. I have no idea whether this made a lot of money or whether it was a box office flop. I can... As a matter of fact, I'm going to check that right now. I'll be right back, people. Okay, so I just went on Box Office Mojo, and this had a budget of $6 million and made worldwide $57 million. So you take about a third away from that. I did check what that was. That's about $19 million. Take that away. So let's just say it made about $38 million. So it, it made $32 million in profit, pretty much, give or take. There's some other things here and there, but it, it didn't do stellar. But that week was a very competitive week, I think. Unless I'm thinking of something completely, completely wrong, which I, I could be. But this movie, let, let me see what else came out that, that week. Well, it wasn't a very competitive week. Lionsgate released Angel Has Fallen, which I didn't see. Uh, and I'm not going to see it because I haven't seen any, any other ones, so why should I? That's what I'm going to take a pass on. Overcomer came out, but that made $8 million. So, this one didn't make a whole lot of money for Fox or Disney, pretty much. It didn't make a whole lot of money for them. But I think that if Fox wanted to, and, and if the fans really petitioned, I think we could get a 
straight to DVD sequel, maybe a Hulu sequel of some sort with a different type of a game in there. This was a horror comedy or a horror movie that didn't suck based off of a game or based off of whatever because truth or dare that sucked it's very hard to make a good game based movie well a good game based horror movie well video game that's a different story video game movies usually suck ass this movie however was really really good Samara Weaving gave a performance that I really loved she was great in it. She looked beautiful in it. The blood and gore effects were really nicely done. I don't really have any problems with this film at all. It did exactly what it was supposed to do for me, and that was entertain the living hell out of me. This movie is definitely one I'm going to check out again very, very soon. Pick up when, I'm, when I come across it for a cheap price. I'm going to give Ready or Not an A-. I really enjoyed it for exactly what it was supposed to be.